back to my channel. Today I have my everyday makeup routine, an updated version. So for those days where I wear a full face of makeup, this is everything that I wear of my face. This is gonna be kind of like a get ready with me but not because I'm not I'm not gonna talk as much as I usually do in my get ready with me because I don't want to make this video a half an hour video. Let's start. So I start by curling my eyelashes. Always do this first because it's a pain if I add anything to my eyes and then have to curl my eyelashes. My eyelashes are stubborn, they are dead straight, so it takes a while to curl. If I've got anything on my lids, it's just gonna ruin whatever's on my lids because I'm curling forever. Anyway. Now I prime my eyelids, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Okay, so for my eyeshadows, I usually just gravitate to three palettes. That is the Modern Renaissance, the Jaclyn Hill palette, and Huda Bully. Huda Bully. Huda Beauty's first palette. So what I usually do is just pick one and go from there. I think um. Maybe this one. I haven't done the Modern Renaissance palette in a while. So for my eyeshadow looks, I tend to go for a very warm look. I stick to the warm colors, basically. So I'm going to start off my base with Red Ochre, which is a very, very warm auburn kind of brown red color. <laughs> a little bit too hard with this color yep so for the inner corners of my eyes I usually go in with quite a shimmery shade I think I'm gonna go in with Primavera which is quite a gold so it's a goldish shimmery shade which is Cypress Umbar. Next, I'm going to go in with my favorite eyeliner of all time. If you've been watching me since the almost beginning, I've been using this eyeliner since then. I just really love the texture, the everything, the longevity, the just it works for me at its drugstore so therefore i love it so we're just going to create a winged eyeliner look i tend to just do the flick first apply my eyelashes and then blend all the eyelinerness in and just make everything just look cool there's a word that i'm looking for and it's not there just make it look okay i just need to look decent blinked um, this is either gonna be a really big winged eyeliner or I don't really know is over I then go in with my eyebrows and then after that I will continue with my eyes and apply my eyelashes and everything but we're gonna start with the brows first I just used Soap and Glory's Brow Archery in the shade Hot Chocolate and I've been using this. This is another holy grail product that I have been using for years. Also going to go in to set it is my Maybelline New York Brow 
drama. So these are my favorite eyelashes because they are cheap, very uh, inexpensive, I think if I remember correctly. They are three pounds for five pairs of lashes. They're just a thick and full pair of plastic lashes. Tell me what Okay, so I have an eyelash about to be applied, but Mato uh, getting really impatient. I feel like eyelashes really completes a look because I feel like my look before these lashes were on was nothing. Now they're on and now it's full like, this is nice. I feel like once I've done my eye makeup, I can relax and chill. That's what usually happens. I relax and chill until last minute, then I'll do my face makeup. So I'm just gonna go in with my favorite moisturizer and that is the Kiehl's, Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Cream Gel. Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream. I'm just going to be applying that all over my face, especially where I would usually get any dry patches. I don't want any dry patches visible or anything, especially since it's the winter. I'm uh, going to be using the professional as always. It's like the only face prime I use. I need a new one, but I don't know what one is good or not, so I've just been sticking with this one since I have quite a lot of it left. Foundation, my favorite everyday foundation is Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup. This is basically the lighter coverage version of my all time favorite, just the original Double Wear. I really like the original Double Wear, however, it's very heavy coverage. I don't need that as an everyday foundation, although I used to. It was too much. For my skin. Yeah. So I use about two pumps and I just dot that all over my face and then I would go in with a beauty blender. I love the beauty blender. There is no comparison to the beauty blender than all the other sponges in my opinion, but that's just my opinion. Okay, so we don't waste any products, so we're just gonna wipe it all off the hands. I am going to blend everything together. After that, I go in with my Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer. This has been my favorite concealer. I think since they had its hype time, you remember when this was like the big concealer for drugstore? This is my favorite concealer. I love this thing. It's a great everyday concealer if you want like a nice brightening effect. I feel like this video is just a bunch of my favorite makeup on my face. So I apply quite a generous amount and then I use it just to literally blend everywhere. Anything else left on the sponge, I use it to just highlight some high points on my face. my under eyes in place this is my favorite powder it is an expensive powder so therefore i will use every little bit of this powder but i am going to be using the loose setting powder by laura mercier and you've probably heard about this powder because everybody uses this powder <laughs> parts of my face. I'm going to be using a pressed powder and this is the Healthy Balance Press Powder. This is great if you got oily skin. If you got oily skin like me, I recommend this powder if you are looking for a drugstore powder. Sorry if I keep looking this way by the way, but my mirror is there and I kind of need 
and mirror just to apply everything. Bronzer! This is Sleek's Contour Kit in Medium and I've used this in a lot of my videos. I used it in a lot of tutorials, a lot of makeup videos because this is just my go-to bronzer and it shows. To be fair, a lot of the makeup that I've used in this tutorial has been in a lot of my other videos just because these are a lot of my favourite makeup items and I wouldn't really share anything that I wouldn't recommend. This is a good drugstore bronzer if you're wanting to find something that contours. I don't really bronze a lot, I just contour. So, applying that in the hollows of my cheeks. Highlights. Well, forever be my favorite thing to apply in my makeup routine. As for highlight goes, I will always go to Becca for highlighters. Any highlighters that I've had from Becca have been amazing. So I am going to be using this palette. This is the Ocean Jewels highlighter palette. The color that I will be using in this tutorial is, let's go with color Sunstone, which is this kind of bronzy color going on. Oh my God, I dipped my finger into the pink shade oh well my nail it yep <laughs> So next is lips and lips I usually go in with just a lip gloss or either kind of like a jumbo pencil and then a lip gloss just to give it a bit more color. Okay this one is blunt. I need to sharpen this. So let's go in with the e.l.f. one. This is very old by the way. Probably should be throwing this out. This is e.l.f.'s jumbo gloss stick in the shade Sangria Starters and oh my god this is old. So I usually go in with a lip gloss and my go-to gloss and I can tell this is my go-to gloss because I'm on with all this Oh My Gloss by Rimmel London and it is my favourite gloss because I just like the colour. It doesn't last very long. The thing that I really love about glosses is that it's very low maintenance. You don't really have to worry about it going everywhere when you eat something, it going on your chin, when you buy it. It's something that you can put on if it fades away over time. They still look fine. This is my go-to gloss. One thing I hate about lip glosses though is the fact that if it's a rainy day, it is a bad day because your hair will stick onto your lips like crazy. This is it. This is my look. It's a very glam everyday makeup look. When I wear full face of makeup, it's gonna be quite glam because my eyelashes, first of all, are quite dramatic for my eyes. If I don't make it quite glam, it just it looks odd. And these are like the only eyelashes I wear because they are cheap. So gotta get the makeup look to match the lashes. <laughs> Until I can find one which is more subtle and it suits my eye shape. This is gonna be my everyday makeup look for when I wear a full face of makeup. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my updated everyday makeup routine. I'll see you guys very shortly in my next video. Bye! <laughs>